morning guys welcome back I am back from vacation getting back into routine and I am taking you with me today to show you how exactly I do that so we flew in really late Monday night slash Tuesday morning so we got back to the house around 12 30 a.m. Um, and then we picked up the kids my hair is crazy so I just like rolled right out of bed um, but we got the kids we got the kids Tuesday morning and um, then we went grocery shopping and we did like all the things which by the way I do have a grocery shopping video coming up for you guys on Monday it is a huge Costco haul and I'm super pumped to share that with you because it is of course it's a keto slash like kid friendly keto haul we got all of the healthy groceries it feels so good like coming off a of vacation where like all I've been eating is like just junk food and tacos Again, like 10 pounds in water weight. I'm sure some of it's like legit taco weight because it was it was a lot of tacos that were had. But anyways, I am just getting breakfast ready for Kai. She was the last one up this morning. So that's what I'm doing currently. And then usually when I get back from a vacation like this, I like to sit down and go over my schedule and my calendar for both Eminem Rustics and like YouTube and Instagram. And like go through my schedule so similar to what I used to do when I was still working in the office is I would come back from vacation I would sit down and I would go over my schedule for like the next week or so and it made me feel so much more put together <laughs> once I got back from vacation and usually by like that last day of vacay I'm always craving my routine like especially after a really long travel day. Yesterday we traveled for over 12 hours to get back home between layovers and like transports to the airport, getting to the airport ahead of time. It was a very crazy experience. It took us three hours, three hours to get through the airport or like I'd say like two and a half and we were like sprinting to make it to our plane, which um, that was a new experience for me. <laughs> Usually I get to the airport super early and I never have any issues, but Anyway, I will fill you guys in more on that later on, but I'm going to show you first what I do to get a grip on my life and my schedule is in fact from vacay. Okay, I am dressed, I'm ready to go. I threw my hair in a braid today. Just so that it was out of my face. Okay. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think we're gonna do that. There we go, I had to test you guys in the cupboard. Okay, so I just got the kids dressed and ready to go. And um, I am not hungry. But today for lunch, I grabbed a rotisserie chicken from Costco yesterday. So, and yes, I went to Costco instead of Sam's. Um, we like to switch it up every once in a while. Um, but I, <clears throat> oh man, <clears throat> I lost my voice. I lost my voice from all of the like screaming and singing when I was on vacation. Um, anyways, okay. 
So I am going to put you guys in the fridge. I don't even know where to put this chicken for now. Um, I'm going to heat, or I'm going to cut like half of that chicken up and put um, half of it into like a salad for myself for whenever I'm hungry for lunch. And then um, just feed the kids just like chicken and oranges and stuff, they love that. So I was gonna do that. And then the second half, I'd like to cube up and then I will put into like one of these reusable bags that I have because um, like one of these, I'll toss it in one of my reusable Ziplocs because I like to dice up like fresh cucumbers and fresh tomatoes and then toss those in with those. Um, should be really good um, with a little bit of salt and pepper. It's like 10, 50, it's like almost 11 o'clock and I've already gotten most of my things out of the way. Um, I went through my M&M schedule and wrote down um, everybody um, for like days for pickups and things like that. I like to go through that as soon as we're back from vacation just so that I can make sure <clears throat> I'm like, oh man, just to make sure that I'm staying in touch with my customers. Um, I'm still so tired. I woke up super early this morning. Um, so anyways, so I got that done. I went through my YouTube schedule, um, writing down some really fun new ideas for you guys for this spring and summer. And I want to do tons of like motivating like yard work and things like that over on my home channel. Um, that is definitely something that gets me amped up in the springtime is like yard work and just seeing like what other people do to get ready in the spring um, to amp up for summer. So some of the things that we plan on doing in our backyard, because this, this summer we have a huge backyard transformation coming and we're gonna be doing a deck and a fence and we're getting a pool um, and we're redoing all of our landscaping. So we have quite a bit in store for our backyard. So stay tuned because I will be doing just like transformations over on my at home channel, but I will be doing step-by-step -step DIYs of like what we're doing over on my M&M Rustics channel. So we plan on doing we're doing like landscaping curbing and we're gonna have to redo some of the landscaping once we get our fence up. First thing that we're doing is getting the fence up. Um, just so that we have an area to start like setting things up for the kids because the deck is going to take a little bit longer. Um, but the fence will have up by the middle of April and then the deck will be up by the middle of May. Um, that way we're just able to like go outside and really truly enjoy the outdoors, like our actual yard this summer. We've never really been able to do that. We had a trampoline last summer and that was awesome. But the only problem <clears throat> with like not having a fence is then like the dogs and the kids, it's really hard to watch all of them at the same time. So anyway. Okay, it is cold, it is windy. I am measuring out our fence right now. Um, and where our pool is gonna go and our deck, I have to like measure everything out. So that is what I'm doing right now. My dogs are going nuts. A thousand years. Are you gonna stay in here? No, I'm not pretty sure gonna ride this. You're gonna bring in the backyard with me? You have to stay by mom. Well, mom, guess what? What? Um, I can't, I can't ride on grass, or I can't ride on grass. I know, but that's the rules. I'm gonna be in the backyard, okay? okay. So I need to measure out, like, so the, outside, the fence and the no, deck. I have to measure everything out so I can price it all out and then see if the pool that we are looking at is going to fit because um, we're wanting to put down like sand to level everything out so mom can you help me make this higher it's too small is it too small okay let me help you okay let's see if i can figure this out there we go chicka chicka yeah there we go chicka chicka yeah actually works it is cold outside today it's supposed to be like 70 by monday but today it is like 40 degrees. It's probably like 40-ish degrees outside right now with wind chill probably a lot colder than that. But <sighs> all of the things. I'm getting super excited. Like super excited for like the backyard stuff because I 
I'm ready for like a little oasis in our yard. That's good. You ready? Should we go? Let's go map out where the pool's gonna go. Okay, I bring you guys along, but it's gonna be super windy. So, let me see your moves. Okay, okay, okay. Let me see. Pants are a little long for moves, aren't they? They're cute. Ooh, ooh, let's check out that little jump. What? Uh, I, I don't really like windy days. I know, it's too cold. Oh, you think so? <laughs> okay, so I've done a really bad job of vlogging. Nobody prepares you for like how much work it is to get everything back in order when you come back from vacation. It has been like three years since Mike and I have gone on vacation by ourselves. And I forgot how much work it is. With two kids, it is so much more work because it like, and the ages that they're at too, like getting them back into routine slash schedule is difficult. I'm not complaining about having a vacation. That's not what I'm doing. But I just forgot how much work it is getting them back into routine. So I actually kept them home um, I'm putting my supplements away if you're wondering. <laughs> I actually kept them home from daycare for the rest of the week just so that I could get them like reacquainted with their normal schedules, right? Like when nap time is, when we wake up, when like we eat breakfast and like what the ground rules are, right? <laughs> like you, you would think that those would be normal things because you know they're good at grandma and grandpa's but it all goes out the window once they see you and they're like, hey, mom and dad are back. We can get away with whatever we want. Grandma and Grandpa were like, oh, they're, they were perfect angels. But anyway, so let's chat because it has been, oh, I don't know what we were thinking, but as soon as we got home, Mike and I were like, okay, like before we left, we're like, okay, we're gonna arrange and like try to um, start getting our backyard stuff um, in line so that when we get back from Mexico, like whatever, we can just like hop right into it. Um, and get ready for spring because right now it's like 50s, 60s in Minnesota um, and it will be kind of like balancing up and down. Maybe a couple of days where it'll be like upper 40s but from for the most part from here on out like that's the weather we're gonna have. So we want to get the backyard ready and get everything like set to go right for enjoying the summer. Um, also, Riker, I've got a snack for you buddy. Speaking of carbs and everything, I am back on my keto diet. I think I mentioned that yesterday. I took the week off while I was in Mexico because I wanted to thoroughly enjoy vacation and like just have all the tacos and things like that. My first travel day though, I will say, I did try to eat more healthy like that day when I was traveling. I tried to be more low carb, I like packed beef jerky for the airplane, um, but pretty much like Wednesday on, I did not care about what I ate. So anyways, I had like all of the sugary drinks, I had a ton of like beer and like just like super carby things, right? And when I first got home, I was a little shocked. Um, I was a little shocked because I had gained, it was like 13 pounds and Within two days, like nine of those pounds are completely gone. So I'm just somebody who really bounces up and down with my water weight, even though like I didn't truly gain that in like weight weight, right? Anyways, it was a little shocking. So I've been back on the train and I will say I have had the worst headache, the worst headache because I'm getting back into ketosis again. Kaya has a friend over, so if you hear like screaming in the background, that's what it is. Um, they've been playing like all afternoon, having a blast. So anyway, um, yeah, it's just been really hard getting myself back into routine, getting the kids back into routine. I have this really terrible headache, and I'm like trying so hard to have like energy and focus, and getting back into keto, and it's hard. Okay, so anyways, if you want to know what it's like to get off keto for a whole week and get back into it, it's hard. Anyway, Anyway, speaking of keto, okay, I got the keto bread that I mentioned to you guys, I think like two weeks ago. I just discovered that keto bread, so good, it's like one of my favorite things. 
Although really the only thing that's making it keto is just they added fiber to like cancel out the carbohydrates. Um, but they also have keto buns. And I picked those up when we went to Costco yesterday. And was it yesterday? No, it was the day before. I don't even know what day it is. I love me a bunless burger, do not get me wrong. And for the most part, I will continue to have my burgers without buns just because I don't do really awesome with gluten. Hello, I don't think so, it's not for you. Um, anywho, I'm just excited because sometimes having a bun with your burger and like piling it high with like melted cheese and tomatoes and lettuce and all the things, it sounds so good right now. So that's what we're having for dinner. Let's touch base on backyard stuff really quick. I don't know if I mentioned this, but searching for a pool has been like the wild, wild west. I was not anticipating on how difficult it was going to be to find a pool when we started planning our backyard stuff for this year. So I knew right away there were two things that I wanted to get right off the bat, and that was the fence. Um, and the pool. And then third is the deck, which the only reason why it happens in that order is because we wait until, so Menards, we're gonna wait until they come back with their 11% rebate sale before we buy the materials to do the deck. So we know that'll be in about a month or so for Memorial Day. Um, so that's when we will be purchasing the stuff to do the deck, but we're doing the fence in about two weeks. And um, we wanted to get the pool stuff, like the sand where we're going to lay the pool. We wanted to get all of that ready to go right away. Basically so we can like hit summer hard, like after Memorial Day weekend and getting our deck done and just like hitting the ground running and having the entire summer to enjoy our backyard, right? This has been insane. This has been absolutely insane. Looking for a pool, I so Sam's Club had one for $400. It was a 20 foot, which is huge, I know. Um, and it was four feet deep. And Kai has taken swimming less, so Kai has taken swimming lessons and we are comfortable with having a pool now. Um, definitely will be something that we have a fence around um, and the ladder will stay inside the pool at all times and it's just high enough where, the one that we finally did find, um, is just high enough that the kids won't be able to like climb into it like with a chair. So I'm very like water and pool like safety cautious. I'm very paranoid and my kids are very much so water babies, so it's hard to be, I have to let them enjoy those things, but also be very careful. So putting like sand down in that corner, we're going to dig an indent in the dirt where the pool's gonna go. I ultimately found a 14 foot by 42 inch. So the one I was looking at originally was 20 feet and 48 inches. So this is six inches less deep and is um, six feet less wide, but that's okay because honestly the 20 foot was really, really big. Again, I found this used on the Facebook marketplace. Um, it's like an hour away, but I don't have a problem going and like picking it up an hour away because honestly I have looked everywhere, everywhere for a decent priced pool and I have not been able to find one. This is it's literally nuts, it's so nuts. Like, I, po I commented on another pool post this morning, four minutes after it had put, been put onto the site and it was sold within those four minutes. Sold in four minutes. I don't know how it happened. That one was a 16 foot and four foot deep. And so it was a little bit bigger than the one that I had already like secured by this point. Um, anyway, just, just nuts, just nuts. Okay, so. Um, this same one that I'm getting, I believe is originally $200 or so, like $250 originally, and I'm getting it for $90, but because of the supply and demand right now, it's actually selling for $700 on Amazon and Walmart. It is nuts. So this is what it looks like. It's just like an Amazon review. Um, that's what it looks like. And it has like the gray sides, which I liked, versus the blue sides. I don't know if you guys can see that. Also, my dogs have been freaking out all day because we've had people like in and out of our backyard like marking where lines are so that we can dig. <sighs> You're driving me crazy. So anyways, that's the pool and 
um, we're gonna be putting, so like I said, we're gonna dig out an indent, a 14 foot like indent into the dirt to put the pool down. And then around it, we will put the sand. Um, and then I'm hoping to put like some pavers getting into the pool to avoid getting um, any like additional like sand and dirt and grass in the pool itself. Um, we'll figure it out as we go. I've already been ordering like filters for the pool and like chlorine tablets and cleaning supplies, like all the things to try and keep the pool as clean as possible. Um, so yeah, anyways, I'm getting really excited that I finally found one. Um, I see that everywhere online they're completely sold out of the 42 and 48 inch deep ones. And if they're not sold out, they're like anywhere from 700 to $1,200. They're very expensive. So anyways, so that's what's going on over here right now. Um, and I'm just been ordering stuff like crazy off of Amazon for summer and amping up for all the summer things, so. He's been sitting here for like 20 minutes in his truck watching Monsters Inc. with his blankies. Okay, so I keep forgetting the kids are like nuts today. Every day since we got home, they've been nuts. Um, I keep forgetting to end the vlog um, from the other day, and I really want to get this up for you guys before I leave this morning or this afternoon, I should say. Koda, oh my gosh, everybody's very needy and very wild. Yes, very needy, very wild. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm going to end the vlog there for today. Um, at noon today. Oh, I think everybody missed us. Who do you think? Yeah. You are not a lab vlog, but you sure think that you are. The stop. Okay. Anyway. Okay. Cut it. Down. Ah. Uh, okay. Like I said, I'm gonna end the vlog there for today because I have to leave at like 12.30 today for, um, really? I have to leave at 12.30 today. Um, just kidding. <laughs> I have to leave at 12.30 today for, um, to head out of town to go get my COVID vaccine. I'm heading out of town at 12.30 today to go and get my COVID vaccine. Yes, I am. So. Um, the place that I'm going to get it is an hour away because they were the only ones with appointments. So that is what I am going to go do today. I am vlogging today as well. So stay tuned because I will upload that vlog on Monday. I have a ton of really fun spring cleaning projects and spring yard work projects coming up over on my at home channel. So I will see you on Monday likely for that at home video and Monday for another vlog here on my channel. Okay, bye you guys.